Hi, I'm Alex Lightman. I'm a co-founder of LEAF and I'm an author and entrepreneur and winner of the Economist Magazine Reader's Award, the very first one for the innovation most radically changed the world over the last decade. I care about what I breathe and I care about what you breathe. As you can see from all the people behind me, there are a lot of people in the world, there are a lot of places where it gets very crowded. There are 8 billion people in the world and as of the time that I made this video, there are four and a half million people who were infected and over 300,000 people had unfortunately died of COVID with or because of COVID-19, also called SARS-CoV-2. And so we have to be very serious about how we wear our masks, but not all masks are equal. Uh, there are problems with masks and if we all have disposable masks and we fill them up with uh, our breathing and then we just toss them in garbage or we, they end up in the ocean, we don't really want to cover the world with 100 billion masks that are one-time use masks. So I think it's very important, just like there's a movement to reduce the number of plastic bottles that are in the world, there should be a movement to have reusable masks that use the latest technology, the latest materials, and are aerospace standard. So we can basically have truly unique new masks from 2020. So I'd like to introduce you to the LEAF mask. It comes in a variety of different styles and colors, and we believe it's the beginning of an era where you're going to choose not just carefully what you eat, but what you breathe. So we call this the mask of 2020, and it's visible to the imperfections of today's air, yet it's uh, invisible to the eye. So you, it's, you can actually unlock your phone with it, and if you have to go on to a secure facility, a bank, a military base, a government building, you don't have to take off your mask. If you're going through passport control, through customs, you can keep your mask on and people can still see who you are. So we don't want to fill society, in my perspective. Uh, in 2020, we don't want the whole world to look like bandits or bank robbers from the 19th century. So here's a look at, at, if, at exploded view of this. It says state-of-the-art U-series HEPA filtration that has active sanitation at the push of a button. And it's a transparent mask and it protects you from dust and pollution and microbes. And it's got a 99.9997% filtration of things down as small as 0.3 microns. It's got an invisible exhaust valve, an activated carbon filter, uh, aerospace grade HEPA filter, and UVC Power, uh, Power Star technology. And as you can see from the photo there on the right, it uh, comes in sizes for uh, uh, basically a man, for a, a mother, for a child. We have four different sizes of the mask at the moment. And it's a mask that doesn't get between you and the rest of your life. It's designed from soft yet sturdy, 100% recyclable optical grade materials. And it has a unibody design that provides a seamless amalgamation of optical materials to create a, a good solid fit on your face. And also it does work, as you can see, I have a beard and a mustache. It does work for those of us, uh, in fact, the designers all have beards and mustaches. So we wanted to have something that would work for us. And unlike conventional masks that have separate intake valves sewn onto the mask, the leaf has a fully integrated transparent valves with a choice of colors that are there basically on the chin. So it looks kind of like uh, part of athletic gear to me. It looks kind of cool. And as recyclable biocompatible engineering materials, it was designed in the United States by people who design uh, high grade, high end auto parts and whose parts have made uh, sold for billions of dollars. It's biocompatible and 100% recyclable silicone. Uh, extremely robust, thermal stable and fireproof, biocompatible and recyclable. Uh, if you're having to wear a mask quite a lot on your face, it's much, much nicer on your face than latex and it has filters. Unlike conventional masks that use cloth or uh, melt blown fiber uh, filters, LEAF deploys HEPA filters. HEPA filters have a much higher surface area and they provide a much better airflow and the greater air surface area so allows the filter to work for a longer time and that's why they use them in the automotive industry and our filter is 100% recyclable 100% washable and renewable and it stops 99.99997% uh, particles uh, down to 0.3 micron particles so this is the N99 plus standard 
Uh, there's no such thing, as, as far as I know, unless you're in a spacesuit that's 100. But as far as masks go, this is as, about as good as it gets that I know of. It's unbreakable and 100% recyclable. It's highly resilient and it's, uh, uh, it's very, very light, yet it's stiff. And then here, there's three sizes. There's 55 millimeter for kids age three to eight. Uh, we have 65 millimeter height and width, uh, kids age seven to 12. And then 85 millimeter, which is adults or teens with a smaller face, and 115 millimeter height and width, adults with a larger face. Uh, and also, we are trying to make a, this available to drivers so that you can know, you can actually uh, make the mask so that it's attached to electronics so you can see if somebody has had it on or not during your whole ride. So you can basically have people who are chauffeurs or drivers assure you that they'll keep their mask on the whole ride. So we now can start to have uh, the quality of service for people around you who are breathing and whose air you have to breathe uh, that you would want to have. So it'll make people a little bit more comfortable uh, taking public transportation and taking ride sharing again. And it deploys clinically proven UVC light based self sanitation technology, which destroys uh, bacteria and can eliminate viruses. And basically the HEPA filter is taking them out of the air. And this makes LEAF uh, generally safer than the conventional N95 mask. And the filters can last up to a month compared to the users uh, that are basically thrown away. So we think that the rapid adoption of opaque masks that's happened just in the last few months of 2020 is a threat to surveillance and public security because you can't identify if people, um, and I noticed my, myself living in Los Angeles, that people who feel anonymous can feel like they can get away with more than they might normally uh, doing, including uh, you want to be able to have, have people be accountable and be identifiable if they're act, being bad actors. And so basically we're trying to make sure that you balance out the needs for your health with needs for your personal security. Now, I'm a man, but basically I want to make sure that women feel safe. I want to make sure that children feel safe. And if anybody's doing something, I want them to be able to be identified. So thank you for looking at this presentation and trying it out. Thank you for your time.